claims she is art YouTuber but can't make clay stronger. It looks like pee. It does look like pee. I hate these. <laughs> wow. Would y'all like a drink? Maybe some lemonade? What if you just don't mix up the resin? Huh? Who wants a drink? I do. You do? I do. Do you? They're going to be forbidden drinks. Very, very forbidden drinks. But they're going to look super realistic. So what I want to do is make a couple of like realistic looking drinks, have them spill, and, and it'll be like a... It'll be like a realistic looking spilled drink. And then I want to hang it on the wall. Why do you want to do that? That sounds really weird. I don't know. We, we can put it above our door. What? Why above the door? Why not? <laughs> nobody will be crying over spilt lemonade. No, nobody. I might. We're going to be using the acrylic sheet because I don't know why. I just I'm addicted to pouring resin onto the acrylic sheet. Let's get started. Bam! Poly clay, look at that. Okay, first thing that we're gonna do is make a strawberry because I'm determined to make a strawberry drink. Could I find little fake strawberries out in the world today? No. So we're gonna make our own strawberry. I hate poly clay. No, I don't hate it. That was too strong of an emotion. Who would wanna f Oh, no, I dropped it. Let me see it. I didn't just show them what you've done. Disgusting. That's a straw, my dude. Look at that. He's so cute. Let's see, Mad Woman has a hard time making clay strawberries. What's the headline? Claims she is art YouTuber, but can't make clay strawberries. <laughs> I bet this is awesome footage that I'm gonna be so excited to edit later. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> All right, let's bake the straw. Ta-da! Wow. All right, we got dollar store cups. Fabulous. We have, what do they call this? Decorative filler for the bubbles. We have two different glitters because I'm thinking of doing it le lemonade. No, lemonade and like a strawberry, I don't know. And then we also have ice cubes and fake lemons slash fake limes. Chili chunks. Right, right. Chili chunks, plastic sheet. So my technique is going to be just spilling it and making a cute little blob. Cute blob. Check this out. I'm breaking my cup. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my god. Ta-da! Look at that. We're gonna use alcohol inks to color our two different drinks so that it gives it sort of like a translucent but color. It's gonna look like lemonade. It's gonna look like some kind of strawberry soda, okay? It looks like pee. It does look like pee. And it looks like when they ask you to pee in a cup at the doctor's, you know? I don't know how I'm going to stop it. Surely if it's, it won't just keep spreading out forever. It won't just keep spreading out forever. I like that better than this one. Yeah, agreed. Oh shit, yeah.
any building or no? Let's try it on this. So if I do like a couple, I don't know if I like it. Yeah. The two lemonade ones are going to cut. I told you they keep spreading! Crisis averted. Ready for the strawberry? Is it a lime or is that weird? It's a fruit drink. It makes sense. Strawberry lime is a flavor. It is. I'm afraid that this is gonna touch the yellow. There. Now they can never touch. <laughs> 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 hey <laughs> hey you so it is early the next day original plan was that i was going to let these cure for like a day or two and um that's not the plan anymore because I, in all honesty and truthfulness with you all, I hate these. <laughs> I hate how they look. Here's a little clip of how they look right now. So just overnight, this is what has happened. The lemonade has extended all the way to the puddle that was that I like pushed to the side. This, not it. Nah, not it. We're gonna do some horrible things to this. We are going to rip them apart. Why did none of you say anything yesterday? Like, obviously the resin would do this. All right, let's, uh, let's change up the angle so you guys can see me do the worst thing ever. All right, let's see about getting these cups off. <gasps> Wow, okay, that was like the kind of nastiest sound I've ever heard. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. All right, the horrible deed is done. We've ripped all the pieces off. New plan is silicone caulking to like draw a cute like spill looking shape. That way the resin doesn't like pool super thin and it stays a cute shape and it doesn't do that. I think I'm gonna place them down and then draw the silicone caulking shape around it and like, you know, kind of form everything. Anyway, that's the plan. We're going to use silicone caulk, do the shape. I'm gonna place all the objects down because they have resin on them and I feel that the, the clock is ticking. So let's, let's get moving. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give these some time to dry. I don't know how long, but when I do know, I will let you know. We're gonna salvage this project, you guys. It's gonna look great after. All right, voiceover Artsy Madwoman is here to explain what the frick is going on. So I have this resin in a warm bath because it is so cold down in my studio. I have to warm it up 
before I can work with it so it's not so bubbly. And then I also have it in front of my heater. We are going to get started on mixing up some resin. So I did switch up the resin that I'm using. I'm now using the Counterculture DIY Artist Resin instead of the Casting Resin because it's just too soft for this. So I am mixing this up. And you might notice from the previous video where we used this as a top coat for the coffee table, it is so much easier <laughs> to mix and pour in. It was like almost solid the last time I used it because it's so cold down there. So anyway, now I am pouring half of it into a separate cup so that we can mix up a different color. So for coloring these, like I said, I am using alcohol ink, but I am using Ranger alcohol ink. I'm using a yellow one for the lemonade, of course. I use alcohol ink because it always gives me sort of like a stained glass look, like it's transparent, but also the color. I also switched up the glitter that I used for these, so I instead used like a more holographic glitter because I kind of wanted it to have like a little bit of sparkle, whereas the other glitter, I couldn't really see it. So I did switch to a holographic glitter. I will link it down in the description. We are now mixing up the red and then we will begin the pour. So with the silicone caulking like walls, it just, it worked perfectly. Like there's nothing else I can say. It was perfect. I don't know why I didn't do this the first round, but anyway, I'm making sure that I am filling it but not filling it too much. Uh, I'm getting it up to the cup with a little popsicle stick. And then we begin sticking the ice cubes down. I honestly feel like the ice cubes, without them, this wouldn't have looked like a drink. It just wouldn't have. The ice cubes are so cute. Uh, now we're moving over to the little strawberry limeade, whatever you want to call this kind of drink. Strawberry lime, lime strawberry, whatever. It's a drink, okay? And then getting them ice cubes on. Again, super cute. Just kind of tied everything together. So I did let these cure for 24 hours with the silicone caulking all around it. So then the next day I came back and did this. So I peeled away the silicone caulking because I thought maybe this would help it cure uh, properly because it just, for whatever reason, whenever you use silicone caulking on this plastic mat, it stays sticky. So I don't know, I tried this. Let's see how it works. All right, my artsy friends. Some interesting findings that I'm just gonna try to breeze through really quickly is that our spills are still quite tacky on the top. It's super weird. Everything else, cured, completely cured. The casting resin spills that I hated, cured. The resin that we mixed up for these second try spills, cured. It's all cured in there, nothing tacky. But the top part of these second try spills, tacky! And yesterday, you guys saw, I came down and I peeled off the silicone caulking because I was like, maybe that is what is keeping the resin from completely curing. Like it just needs to breathe. You know how Jasmineite needs to do that? Anyway, we're going to peel these off because I'm done. Ah, I'm done. I'm done waiting. <laughs> Put gloves on. So hopefully that will limit the number of, um, you know, fingerprints that I get on. Let's start. <laughs> Here we are. I'm just going to start to like peel it up. Imagine if we just broke them doing this. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, everything's okay. Ah. 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 Oh God. Okay, cool. All right, you guys, here are our two spills. So what I have done is already Put like a little hanging piece on the back of the lemon one. My vision for these when they're hanging on the wall is that one will be right side up and one will be like facing down. So this is the little hanger. It's just one of these that I have. I screwed a hole through the whole thing to the other side of the cup on the inside. And then if you'll look inside, there's also like a little nut that's kind of helping hold all of this on to the cup. I thought we could do this one together. I think I'm gonna drill right here, just above the line. All right, so now that we have a hole, we are going to place our little hanger. Like I said, this one's gonna hang upside down, so that's why I'm putting the hanger this way. I'm gonna put the screw right in the, right in the hole, and I'm gonna drill it in. There we go. I think I can get the nut on there. Perfect. And now we have another little hanger all secured. 
And with that, baby, we are done. Look. Oh my god. Look how actually adorable they are. Not that I didn't think they would be, but like the first tries. I was a little scared this project was going to be super dumb. Look at, look at these. They are so cute. Anyway, let's check them out on the wall. <laughs> I feel like these are some, two of the coolest pieces of wall art that I've ever made. They're just so odd and unique. I don't know if they would actually trick anybody, especially the strawberry one with my clay strawberry on it, but I do think they would get a couple of like, you know, second takes. I love them. I think that they're really cool. I thought this project was doomed after the first attempt that we did. I'm really glad that we switched up the resins because this resin cures harder than that other one and the other one just went so thin that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to peel it off the plastic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you make anything like this, please tag me on whatever social media you post it on. I would love to see it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel, which is not so artsy. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. It is at artsymadwoman. We have merch. This is what some of it looks like, haunted plant party, and there's also I love you to absolute death stuff. But also I am going to be adding something new very soon. I'm super excited about it. Link for that is down in the description along with the link to becoming a member of this channel where we do bonus videos, bonus posts, bonus content of all sorts, and of course links for literally everything that I used in this video down in the description. Check out the description. It's literally got everything. I love you guys to absolute death and I will see you in the next video in the new year actually. I will see you guys in the new year. I do usually do a bloopers video like the week after Christmas. You know that week that's in between Christmas and New Year's. So there will be a 2022 bloopers video and then I will see you back here on Artsy Mad Woman doing an array of different arts. We're actually the first video in 2023 is a brand new art I have never done before. I'm very excited about it. So we're going to kick things off hot and spicy. So I will see you guys in 2023. Thank you so much for being here. Truly, I love you guys to absolute death. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday, whatever you celebrate. I hope it is an amazing one. And I will see you guys in 2023.